Marine veteran acquitted by a Travis County jury on charges of assaulting a police officer is packing to check himself into a veterans clinic for post traumatic stress disorder. Gene Vela planned to make that journey back in 2013, just days before a standoff with Austin police that landed him in jail on Veterans Day. Austin police shot Vela three times during that standoff, claiming he pointed a gun at them. Vela stayed in jail for the next 16 months until his trial. His attorneys won the case, saying the officers did not properly identify themselves and that Vela was mentally ill with PTSD and armed himself to protect his property. Now, with the case behind him, Vela hopes his story leads to positive change. Sally Hernandez has this exclusive interview. We, the jury, find the defendant, Gene Vela, not guilty of the offense of an aggravated assault of a public servant with a deadly weapon. Do you think this sends a message to the police department in Austin, really everywhere? I think it definitely sends a message. Um, whether they hear it and do anything about it, I don't know. I think the message ought to be that it's time for the Austin Police Department to evolve its mental health approach to dealing with citizens with mental health issues in this, in, in this community. There was a request, and I said I wanted to talk to you. And Skip said, we can do it, but we want the American flag in the backdrop. If you can just tell me what that means to you. That's the American flag that I took to Iraq with me and kept with me every day. And I told my buddies, you know, if anything happens to me, cover my body with this. When I got back, there was no blood and there was, it was perfect and it's been hanging on my wall ever since. In the courtroom also, when I would get really, really nervous, I would just look at the flag. It's comforting. It's comforting for me. What's next for you, Gene? I want to be able to do for somebody else what he's done for me. So I, I'm thinking about going to law school and becoming a criminal defense, specifically a criminal defense attorney. What do your friends and family tell you about that decision? They're supportive. They think it's... I lived through this for a reason, and, and I think I found it. Well, we asked Austin police if Vela's case will change the way they respond to veterans who suffer from PTSD. We are still waiting for their response. Looking closer now, treatment for PTSD comes in many forms, but it most commonly combines psychotherapy and medication. Here in Central Texas, the Veterans Health Care System offers PTSD treatment in outpatient clinics as well as a more intensive residential program. Outpatient care is available at VA sites in Austin, Temple, and Waco. The residential program is located in Waco. Vela's defense team says getting him into the VA clinic in Temple was something they have been working on for months while he sat in jail. They say Vela was active in the veteran community before his arrest. He even gave a presentation to law enforcement about dealing with veterans just days before that standoff that sent him to jail.